Hey guys, it's Garage Sailor Vaughn here, and I'm going to show you my finds from Saturday, April 13th. Um, these are all stuff I picked up at garage sales. So, first, I'm going to show you this. I got all of this tape. So, all you people that ship on eBay know that we go through a whole lot of tape. I buy it uh, in, like, large amounts and big rolls and stuff on, uh, on eBay. Um, pretty good price, but I got all these rolls and if you can see all of these rolls Ugh. Ugh. so and this one that's a total of 18 rolls I think and I got them all for ten dollars she wanted a dollar a roll and I ended up getting all of them for ten which was awesome oh and I'll just show you the next thing this is a J Crew flannel um, this stuff is really expensive new. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, it was weird. It was only like selling for what looked like like less than twenty dollars, maybe like fifteen dollars on eBay. But I'm actually gonna keep it because it's my size and I really like it. The lady was asking five dollars, but I ended up getting it for three dollars. So this is really nice. Okay, the next thing I got this like ugly like Christmas kind of sweater kind of looking thing. Um, it's really cool because the tag says Target Stores Incorporated, so it's definitely a really old sweater. I got this in a gross house, so I'm actually going to clean it for sure. I'm going to wash it. Um, so I ended up getting it for $2, but I only had three quarters, so I ended up getting it for $1.75, which is nice. And my estimate is like 20 bucks for this sweater. Uh, next I'll show you the shoes I got. Um, you guys know I like the brand Diesel. I would keep buying that as much as I can. These are the symbols for them. Uh, so these are some shoes that I got that are Diesel. And I paid $3 for them. Um, they're really used. Used condition for sure. <laughs> Very used. And uh, my estimate is... Well, I, I put an estimate price tag of $23. That's what I'm going to try to sell them for. Um, they'll probably sell for that. Their popular size being a ten and a half. 1961 copyright date Monopoly board game. Uh, I love getting Monopoly board games. Um, actually, all old board games are fun, but this one was just in such great shape for two dollars, so I had to get it. And my estimate is that it's gonna sell for twenty three dollars. I would put a price tag of like thirty dollars on it, but I actually went through everything and make sure like nothing was missing. And nothing, none of the, no, nothing seems to be missing. None of the cards are missing, but um, the game pieces, the car, iron, and the dog are all missing. And then the horse one is broken. So that's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping everything would be complete, but still, it's a really nice board game, and, and everything is in really great shape. So for two dollars, no matter what, I'm gonna make profit on this. Next thing is a little league. It's like a glove, baseball glove, and it is Franklin, and it's really nice. It's in great shape, and I paid only a dollar for it, and my estimate is it's going to sell for like $10. Here's another thing I got for only a dollar. It is a bunch of uh, miscellaneous like stones and stuff. Um, I always like collect a large amount of this stuff and then I put it all in one lot for like $30 and it always sells. This stuff sells really well in a large lot. So this is just going to be added to a group and this will definitely help out a lot. There's some really nice stones in here. So yeah, only a dollar for all these, which is cool. Here is the next thing. It is a knife. It's like, I think this is like a fake deer. Um, I don't know. It's weird, but... Here is, here, oh, let's see if I can focus in on the label. Do, do, do. Hopefully you guys can all read that. It is uh, Sheffield, England. It's really nice. Um, it does have this one, like, line here. Do, 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 all the way across. It's kind of fortunate. I think that's like a, just a scratch all the way across. So, bummer for that, but... I paid 25 cents for this knife and I'm estimating it's going to go for like $8 maybe. I mean, I wasn't really sure I couldn't find anything too similar on eBay. 
X thing is cool. Well, at least for a California person. Um, it's a license plate from Illinois. It says Land of Lincoln. Some of you guys watching my video are probably like, I'm from Illinois. I see these things all the time. But that's a pretty uncommon license plate actually for California. But I got it for $2. I figured, why not? I mean, it's only $2. Unfortunately, it's selling for like $5 on eBay. So... Um, I'm probably just going to put up for like decoration somewhere. I don't really know. It's only $2. Next thing, boring regular pair of Levi's jeans. Uh, 5'11's, 29 by 30. This is a pretty popular size. Um, they were asking three. I got it for two. And I'm going to sell them for 18. These are really nice, but they're really kind of dirty. So I'm definitely going to wash these right now. Um, these are Hollister jeans. I've actually never sold Hollister jeans before. Strange that I almost never come across them. Abercrombie I come across with, but not normally for the price I want to pay. But these jeans were only a dollar. So I got them, and to my surprise, I'm probably going to make like $23 on them. So that was my estimate. But I'm definitely going to wash them first. Here's another kind of bummer, but also a cool find. is I found this Chic Lighter. See, you push here, opens up. Um, that's a bunch of serial numbers you probably can't read on the bottom. So here's the bottom of the lighter. Um, it seems to be in really good shape. I figured it would be worth something. I only got it for a dollar. Unfortunately, it's selling for like maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get like six dollars for it. So kind of a fail, but still, it was cool. Fine. I thought it'd be worth something, but it's not is a pin I just found this in a bunch of pin stuff uh, they had a bunch of random stuff like this they were asking like a dollar each for this stuff and I thought that was way too much but I liked this one because I could read the tiny little numbers that you probably cannot see at all on there but it says 120 uh, 12 kgf which means it is 12 karat gold filled uh, which is not great because Goldfield stuff never does well. But um, I only paid a dollar for it. It even has a little ruby here, I think, or some sort of stone that looks like a ruby. Can't see it too well on the camera, unfortunately. My estimate for this is going to sell for maybe $10. It's pretty cool, though, when you're searching through stuff that other people have looked for and you find something that other people haven't found, um, such as uh, an item being gold or silver or gold filled or whatever. Still pretty cool find. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.